What's going on guys? Not gonna lie, I'm having a lot of fun recording these videos. Anyway, just wanted to give you guys a quick update regarding what I'm seeing in the charts. Uh, so, this last candle close on the hourly was an inverted hammer candle, which is predominantly a reversal sign. I'm getting other things kind of compounding as well, so I'm getting my support resistance indicator popping up. Uh, I'm seeing some divergence as well in the uh, TSI here, right? So you got to see an upward slope on the on the on the TSI, but you also have downward price. That is divergence. I'm getting a buy signal after uh, impulse move. Now this isn't ideal. You usually want to see the the waves uh, like with a space here. And we're getting a buy signal right after this, and there's no space right here. So it's not ideal by no means. But what's also kind of interesting is the MACD as well showing in a buy signal after like a little fake out dump. TSI, this is a different TSI, uh, but it has actual indicators, so it's going to continue rising as long as price is above 18.8. So that's pretty good, <laughs> right? Um, we're looking at a TMA here as well. Uh, it's kind of uh, showing uh, additional divergence on top of that. So also a falling wedge here. Uh, so I wouldn't necessarily uh, set up any type of long situation until I see a breakout confirmation as support. Also, this is a key level at 18.9. So I wouldn't mind seeing a couple hourly candles close above this. And then uh, essentially just wait for uh, the 9 EMA to curl upward and then kind of uh, find a long situation wherever the 9 EMA is at. So that's kind of like what I'm looking at. But uh, anyway, uh, rejoice. There is uh, going to be some short-term relief, it seems. Uh, it seems, right? There are a couple of things that have to play out beforehand, but that's kind of like what I'm looking for. Uh, what else can I show you here? Oh yeah, in the last video I showed you guys this Adam and Eve patterns playing out, so I'm not expecting like full-fledged reversal. I'm actually going to expect to see some a breakout potentially, and maybe like a 5% pump and then some rejection here. Uh, honestly, I do expect some rejection to happen. The Adam and Eve pattern um, uh, uh, breakout zone sorry, is around here, so this measured move. <clears throat> going back to it on the one hour you have your candle close to the top right here uh, you also have the neckline right here uh, so push that over here to the candle breakout close and you get roughly at 18k interesting also it aligns with uh, my support resistance indicator showing up around this zone as well so I do see some short-term relief off of this falling wedge keep in mind the percentage is a 68% breakout to the upside. Um, there is a possibility that this could just like fake everyone out here. Uh, there is a possibility that this could happen and just like, you know, just dumps down. So uh, yeah, if you see a breakdown below support, oh God, that's not useful at all. <laughs> if you see a breakdown below support off of this yellow line right here, which is at about 18.7, then yeah, it's, this is probably going to get fulfilled sooner rather than later. Uh, but, you know, these divergences are playing out. Uh, this 37-minute TSI is already kind of playing out as well. It's turning blue, which is a nice little indicator. Uh, so, you know, having a, st a, a tight stop loss um, around this range would be smart. Um, yeah, I like to look for entries on the 15-minute <clears throat> where the 90 EMA is at. Not where the candle's at, but where the 90 EMA is at. Uh, so that would actually look a little bit like this. Turn off the candles, look for the 90 EMA, and then put a limit order right there. Uh, that's just kind of like how I operate. That's if you want to partake in this uh, situation, you don't necessarily have to. Uh, this isn't advice. This is more so just kind of probability space that I'm kind of covering. But yeah, anywho, uh, short term relief is kind of what I'm expecting. Now, the, we are in a pretty parabolic downtrend, so it's not necessarily wise to do long, so I'll be completely honest. If anything, this is more so a situation to kind of like watch the relief rally kind of come in and then kind of really just set up for short, frankly, because I do expect prices to, you know, hit 
um, in the 18K, high 17K uh, region within the coming days. Uh, so anywho, just wanted to give you a quick update after the uh, uh, this pretty parabolic dump to the downside, which is 5%. I mean, if you look at all coins, oh, uh, let me, where's Ethereum? Ethereum, <laughs> where'd you go? Yeah, Ethereum's just getting wrecked. Yeah, it's like 15% down. Yeah, oof, oof, hey. I mean, look at this. My my resistance, man. My resistance. Uh, my my. <laughs> this is this is beautiful. Sorry, I haven't looked at Ethereum chart in a while. <clears throat> this is this is wonderful. Uh, invalidated. <clears throat> Excuse me. Invalidated. Um resistance here but yeah uh, yeah this this isn't looking too hot <laughs> let's see let me go to Solana Solana yeah having a similar relief bounce yeah, parabolic downside ooh interesting I'm kind of seeing a some form of like downward resistance kind of uh that's nice not gonna lie that's not bad these are actually bullish okay so after some carnage uh gotta see some relief that's just kind of how it is look at this i mean ugh since the beginning of this dump here it's 14 percent. that's wild so yeah there has to be some form of relief uh consistent lower highs consistent lower highs and we're probably gonna print another lower high frankly um but you know i wouldn't be too down on the dumps right now i do feel like the majority of like this entire dump uh, in the bear market is pretty near a close i mean i'm not gonna uh i shouldn't count my chickens before they hatch so to speak but like yeah uh this has just been ridiculous this has been a historic bear market historic uh, usually bear markets last for like 80%, so we're at 75%. So, um, you know, there's a little bit more to go, uh, but it's I wouldn't think it's more so like 10% down, you know, 10 and 20% down. Uh, but after that, then we're just going to be going sideways for a bit, kind of be ranging in this zone here for a while, and then we're just going to get back to the top. I the crypto market is so freaking young it's ridiculous there's only more institutions coming in more hedge funds uh you know more private investors uh retail investors it's only growing and it's frankly the utility is only getting better i mean literally y'all web 5 people meme about it people joke about it but that's essentially DeFi on bitcoin okay people are going to be having nfts uh, built built on the uh, the Bitcoin network, okay. Uh, all these different types of applications being built on top of Bitcoin. So yeah, uh, that's happening. That's that's eventually going to happen. I mean, obviously we have the DeFi on altcoins and everything like that, like Ethereum, Solana, Algorand, etc. Uh, but yeah, like only more money is coming into this market. So I I think it's hilarious that people are selling now. Um, it's sad because you know they're just lacking education regarding what's happening uh, but you know that's kind of like what the institutions wanted you know they just want to freak people out it's like okay we're just going to rug everyone for a few years and then uh yeah we're going to pump these things uh all the way up you know to the upside so, so it's sad because like a lot of these people that were recently got in you know they got in you know damn near the top or at the top or around here a lot i was looking at on-chain data uh the other day and they were saying like a lot of newbies, a lot of newbies got in like around here and like right here. It's sad. So a lot of these new people are coming in. They're they're hurting. And it's it's unfortunate, man. But you know, these hedge funds, these traders, they're just fucking ruthless. They want to take your money. They want to, you know, they want people to feel pain. That's just sadly, it's really messed up. But you know, they're sharks. They are literal sharks. This is all they care for they care about you know transferring money you know into their pockets and they'll do it by any means uh, and uh, yeah anywho i'm kind of going off on a tangent but yes falling wedge it seems 
Uh, I want to see a couple candle closes. Frankly, I would like to see a few, like a candle break above the 9 EMA, 18.9, and then a candle close, hourly candle close confirmations above the 9. Um, ideally, you'd want to see that on the 4 hour, but frankly, for this particular move, it's pretty fast. I don't think there'd be enough time. Uh, the 1 hour right here is is more so riskier but it's more ideal in terms of overall setup uh, and that would be a four or five percent move now keep in mind I am more of a bear on a midterm level so what I'm waiting for in this case is for a reaction pump right support around this level and then a rejection that's kind of what I'm looking at so I'm not even taking this long or anything like that i'm waiting for a shorting opportunity at this point um but yeah anywho i'm gonna close it out right here hopefully you're doing well and uh, take care this was fun bye